What is your definition of a high performance person? Um, being all that you can be every day. 24-7, 365, being all you can be. If we would like to improve the quality of our lives, personally and professionally, what would be your advice? Well, the most important thing is self-esteem. Um, the people that we read about, the people that we uh, admire, uh, the Elon Musks, the Steve Jobs, the Warren Buffetts, etc., all have one thing in common. They have extremely high self-esteem. And, um, of course, you've heard me say this before, self-esteem is built the first seven or eight years of life. But to build high self-esteem, and the way you build high self-esteem, if you're 25, 35, or 45, is to uh, be around, uh, surround yourself with other people that have high self-esteem. Uh, show me your friends and I'll show you your future. And so uh, you can still, you can reverse your childhood by who you associate with. My, my father said, if you've got something in, in your mind, it should come out of your lips. If you've got something in your mind, it should come out your mouth, Dan. And God, God knows, I took it to heart and I've, I've lived that way all my life, okay? Don't raise your hand now. How many of you would like to have your kids grow up just like your parents? You know the answer, don't you? Close to zero. Because they were shitty role models. Now, I'm not gonna ask the second question. How many of you would like your kids to grow up and be like you? Allah forbid, God forbid. But being a high performance person is a full-time job. Uh, Michael's known me 20, over 20 years. I'm like this when I wake up in the morning to brush my teeth. I'm like this when I brush my teeth before I go to sleep. I'm like this 24 seven, 365. And I've been like this for the better part of 50 years. I'm always like this. I'm always pushing the edge of the envelope. And that's why, you know, I'm an overnight success. I've been doing this, I've been coaching 25 and a half years, but all of a sudden I'm popular as hell, uh, but I've been doing this for 50 years. I have the same habits today as I had 50 years ago. The exact same habits. But they're, now they're just ingrained in me. They're ingrained in me. Um, and for those of you that have never been around, the high performance people like I just alluded to, the Warren Buffetts, Elon Musk, uh, God rest his soul, Steve Jobs, who I happen to have known, they were like this 24-7, 365. It wasn't an act. I was doing some research for my talk and I looked up Heineken, Gerard Heineken, who was the founder of Heineken beer in 1864. He talked to his rich mother. Heineken's come from a wealthy family even before the beer. He talked his mother into buying a brewery in 1864, uh, which they then turned into uh, Heineken. Uh, Gerard, or Gerard was a hard ass, tough as nails. Now, I didn't know him, I'm not that old, but I did know Freddie Heineken, the old man, and he was hard ball buster. Now, I don't know his daughter, the current CEO of Heineken, but I'm told she's a ball buster. I did know Steve Jobs. I do know uh, Elon Musk. I do know Warren Buffett. I do know, and they're all ball busters. Success leaves clues, kids. I just named five of the greatest names in business in the last 150 years. And they all have one thing in common. They're ball busters. They're hard as fucking nails. Where does that leave you?